Okay, we're right back at it. I'm going to do another uh, prune run with the fire flower and basic seeds. That's all I'm going to use for um, my infusions or seeds. And we're going to do the crimson fields. So I already did a run. Uh, you can check out that video. We're going to go at it again. And there I go a bit slower because I'm feeling out a bit more of the, the damage and what radiance options to take. So if you want a bit more strategy around the fire flowers, I'll, the first video would probably be more enlightening here. I'm going to kind of repeat some of the approaches I took and focus in a bit more just jumping right into the gameplay. This is a very, wow. These are three very interesting choices. Like they're all really good. I think this will be nice though. If I can start doing something like this. And basic seeds alone are, are pretty darn awesome. I look, like one burning guy would probably help. Burning guy. I have two fire flowers right now. Um, I think that's a really a choice spot. But having three basic seeds helping out, I think is a good approach here. I, I kind of went more heavy on fire flower last time and there wasn't a whole lot of damage being doled out. I mean, they're, they're, they're good, but they're doing like three damage per second. These guys are actually doing four, but then the, these guys have a burning effect. So I think at, when all is said and done, they end up doing six damage, but still it's like, and they also do have a double shot, I should say that, but in level one, it's like once every eight shots. It's so rare. All right, let's see what we got for... Definitely need some key cleansings. Oh, wow, interesting. I'm gonna go here. Ugh, that really, I was hoping it kind of go more down this way, but that's nice. So I wanna block that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. That's clutch. Now, I'm not leveling them up, but, oh wow. I was gonna like try to not go, cause I want, I want Honey Bear to be more involved, but I really can't. Wow, okay. That's kind of crummy, but I think for this wave, I'll be all right. Just ramp, ramp up these guys. But that, that is kind of brutal. I don't know how I feel about that. Can I get him involved at all? Okay, that's rough. Is what it is. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Not ideal, right? But next wave I'll be able to hopefully clean this up a bit. But I'm hoping Fireflyers can rally plus the three. That's that's I think gonna be clutch. I think we're gonna see a lot of vaporization here. A lot of a lot of Anakin Skywalker. Oh yeah, just melting. Oh boy. Ooh, I think the base seed actually snuffed him out there at this last second. Well, you know what I could probably do is go down. Oh, I, Honey Bear can't go on lava, huh? Ah, fair enough. I guess he does have a weakness. He cannot walk on lava. All right, so this needs to end. All right. I think being having Honey Bear now. All right, see, I can do that, which is really cool. That's great. Now Honey Bear is in a way more prominent position, doing more damage. Mm -mm -mm. I'd love to get you guys in there too. That'd be funny. They actually work towards that. Oh, it's such a good cleansing, but I want a water. Oh, that's the spot. That is tempting. Oh. I mean, it's the last wave and like, I have to be realistic about like, is it really worth watering these guys? Because all it's doing is instead of every eight shots they attack twice, every seven shots. So it's really not doing a whole lot. It really starts to be more impactful towards like a level five. But out of, I'd say most enemies or most uh, infusions, like 
the leveling up of these don't seem as critical. I dare say. Um, now, here's the thing, though. If I do cleanse this, I'm, I'm completely out. So I think what would be more helpful is if I do some... Uh, just jack up with some more basic seeds. I think that's going to be the better path, frankly. Oops. And then I'll do a slowdown. That'll be cool. Yeah, no, this is going really good. I haven't gotten hurt yet, so that's huge. I think I'm pretty sure I got hurt last, last time. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this. I think that lava patch at the end is just brutal. A lot of guys got vaporized there. Okay, that's going to be huge, because this is a huge choke point here. Tons of action. The little guys are running through, but they're just gonna, they're not going to survive the lava. The walking on coals at the end. The road rules challenge. <laughs> For those people that remember that. I was like, trigger, finger on the trigger, waiting. But I was like, I saw that the other round where they actually got vaporized in time. That basic seed at the end, I did not think he would be such a clutch player. Wow, they cleared out everything. I didn't even, I didn't need to use honey shield. That was really cool. So I think the pivot from last time I played this is I'm, I'm, I'm actually emphasizing the basic seeds more. Because they're actually going to be, I think, really clutch. All right, so we got the red artifact. That'll let me plant these guys for free. But as we saw last time, we have to be careful. If there's one energy left and you want to plant that on magma, you have to plant them first before using your last energy or you get locked out. Okay, well, that's stinky. But I'm just going to focus on basic seeds. Um, I liked my path last time. I think that was actually pretty darn effective. Where they're kind of going through. That actually worked out. I, I felt pretty darn good about this map last time. Now that rock there is stinky, but I'll have to figure something out. Uh, maybe. I wouldn't mind them all going up this way. So I might actually have them go this way. That rock really just changed up my strategy, I think. I'm not feeling great about that. But I think like a lava guy here, one where I am, maybe honey bear here. Won't be too shabby. I could either do that or just get more basic seeds down. I, these are magma crawlers, so they're kind of feisty. Like, they're, pr they're pretty intense. So I'm going to try to maximize basic seeds. Now, I do want to keep in mind the path I want to see them go on is like this. Like, long term. So I want to make sure I don't block that. <laughs> Which really just means I can't do a whole lot this round. I mean, fine, whatever I can. Oh, you know, what? I could probably do. I'd be also be okay with that. Like, if they go like this way. Because then they're getting hit on both sides. I'm actually not opposed to that at all. And for this round, I think it'll help me out. I want to just I want to do max amount of damage. These guys they're pretty they're pretty stubborn. At least they get the fireflies were not really helping me out much. Honey bear. Yeah, they don't get burned. You can see them going over the uh, lava tile. They don't they're resistant to to that, which makes sense. And I imagine the, um, I did use honey shield, but I don't think I needed to. I imagine the ice crawlers are resistant to like being frozen. Oh, that's risky, but I, I want to clear up some blight here. Oh, okay. If there's one place where a rock's going to land, it's there and that's a-okay with me. Uh, what I was looking to do was here. I think that'll be a real nice spot. No, I don't think so, man. You're not going that way. Forget about it. Let's do that. Get Fireflower down. There's more Magma Crawler, so I'm a little worried about that, but... Like, honestly, if I'm going to level up... Uh, I mean, I might want to start watering. I don't think that's a bad idea. But there's not a lot of it's not a lot of attackers here, so I'm a little a little nervous about that. If I could do something a bit more 
That's a nice cleansing though. Like I, I think that'll help me in the longer. Oh wow, that actually worked out really well. Yeah, I added, I added another rock. I was gonna have to, I thought I had to block it up, but I don't. I'm gonna do probably this. Okay, I'm feeling better. I think Honey Bear's really involved and I love having that. All right, let's do it. Yeah, you can see they're not even, they're slowed down, but they're not, they're not getting burned. Whereas these guys get, so that's definitely happening. The blood bugs are getting torched. But it's significant. They get they took ten damage there. They took ten damage from the That's significant. So yeah, the, those those tiles are really doing some serious damage. That was ah oh, perfect. Um just hanging on to the hundred. Trying. But yeah, that's interesting. So those those tiles do so I don't know if I can't remember if the instructions initially said what damage they do take but the example i think was literally what they are doing which is they start at 10 so they apply 10 stacks it seems but then they only end up taking 10 damage well that kind of makes sense yeah i think when i the way i saw it it looked like it was going down in threes so it seems like every second the um stacks are getting observed so like they're they're getting um recognized so it seemed like it was 10 stacks initially and then three got dissipated and took three and applied three damage three more got dissipated and took and applied three more damage so i think it was three 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 one over the course of four seconds that seems like what the stacks are doing it's not like they're getting recognized every half second that's just my guess i don't know but that's significant because what that effectively means with a blight bug going through these they're not going to survive no matter what because each of these is applying 10 damage so yeah, I think I, I do want to emphasize these stacks. I think that helped me a ton in the first level too. Um, I'm going to block this because I want them to um, deal with... Oh wow, that was so cool. Because that really pushed them down to see Honey Bear a bit more. I thought me getting to do a whole lot. That was awesome. If I can even make this more bottlenecked, I will. But there's no, there's no cleansings there. I wouldn't mind that. Squeeze out a little bit of damage. Um, I still don't have my other guy, which is brutal. I'm going to probably plant Thorny. Like, not have him involved, but just so I can increase the odds of me getting a, um, a guy next round. And that was free, by the way, because I did have that red guy up here, the artifact, which helps. What I do need to do to, like, again, avoid having Thorny actually contribute, I'm going to do this. It costs one, but well worth it. I want to I want to get the other stinking fire flower involved here. All right, but I do have the wants. He's going to get all the radiance love. Slow dance really cool. I think it's a, such a clutch move. Beyond that, uh we're looking at this. It's really it. So, we're going to hit play. See how goes. But I like I love having Honey Bear in a key spot. Oh, this is looking really good. Those magma crawls might give me a little grief here, but I think they did last time too. As long as they're okay, wow, they're really spread out. That worked out pretty darn well. Alright, so here's there we go. So that worked out well. The fire flower has shown up. I see you to show up there, buddy. Ah, where should I put him? There's not really a lot of uh, wraparound spots left. I wouldn't mind doing something like this. But they're not giving me that cleansing. This one might be pretty cool because I can force them to go. I think that's, that's wor well worth it because as we've seen, that, that does 10 damage. Now, those are magma crawlers coming out of there, but still. I do want to see a bit more wrap around here to get this guy involved. That's really nice. These guys have kind of a free pass, so... Now, if I cleanse here, it might free up this or this. It most certainly won't, like, put a rock here. Okay, that worked out really well. That was a very nice cleansing. Because what I want to do is that... Oh, I probably should have switched spots. Frackers. I can do this. 
Yeah, I want Fire Flower involved in here. That's really cool looking. And that Honey Bear's still very involved. Yeah, we got a little... He's got a Fire Flower on his, on his butt, so that's really, that's really clutch. Yeah, just bolster. All right, this is this is shaping up pretty well, though. It's about as good as I can ask for. Oh, and that's so perfect. I didn't plan that, but Honey Bear's gonna have a field day with those double splimes. He one shots them, so they don't even get a chance to split. Now we might get a little dicey here. It's a lot of congestion there. I don't feel great about that. But I haven't seen the splimes break up. Oh, nice. We can. Ooh, nice. Wow, this cleaned up pretty well. Wow. No, this is going great. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I don't know if that's worth it because I do kind of like... But he's going to be pretty busy with other stuff, so I don't mind just putting him there because he's going to be totally occupied there. I wouldn't mind the watering. Definitely want to get the radiance in. I think this, the delta the slow down because by the time they get up here, it's going to be about three seconds. So then they'll get for, they'll get slowed down again. Well worth it to me. This is the nice freebie. It's not that fruitful, but I have kind of energy to spare. Yeah, I don't know if watering is worth it. I'd rather like cleanse plate. Last wave, like I want to just soften up, guys. So like doing that, I think is way more effective. Especially when you're looking at the enemies. It's just magma crawlers up here. I'm just gonna weaken them much more significantly if I do that. As opposed to, I mean, if they were like auto meters, I wouldn't do that, but it's all these little things that add up. Yeah, this is this is about as good of a setup as I can ask for. I think we'll we'll do pretty good here. Based on the other waves I've seen. But there's a lot here. There's a lot of guys. The basic seas just light it up though. Oh boy, oh, man, do you see that? The blood devils. I was I thought I had to shield, I was ready, but they got vaporized at the end. It's incredible. Oh boy. I oh it's like that turn. Okay, I gotta use one there. Yes, I think we're come out and skate. I needed a honey shield there because I didn't hear the sound effect, but I'm pretty darn sure they, they were gonna hit. Wow, I'm still gonna remove an infusion because like you saw what happened. Like I don't, I like the thornies because if I have to put something down that's free, so I'm gonna go with something else just so it gets out of my inventory because they're gonna give me more. Alchemist is like take them, take them all. All right, dude. Um, sap weed. And yeah, I guess I'll get it muscle branch again. All right, these are, these are what I want. So now doing the audit here, we're looking at four out of our 11, like last time. Our, ooh, I got two. But again, it's like the basic seeds are kind of running the show here, but this is a, a round where fire flowers can really shine because it's auto menders and bite bugs. Um, where, what, what I mean by that too is the fire flyers are going to deal this burning stack, which guess what, is going to apply damage and the auto menders, I can't, I don't know if it's like the heal when they, if they get attacked again, it's, it resets the time that they heal. I don't think that's how it works from what I've seen. It, it looks like they just, when they get hit, there's a timer that gets set off and they just auto heal, um, after that point. I could be wrong, but. Okay, now the <laughs> this really messed me up last time. Just the way that all these landed. I had this master plan and it just the rocks were like, nope, you're not doing that. Because sometimes you can pivot. Like last time I was going to go a different route, last level, but it ended up working out really well the other way. But I think what's really nice is having like areas where you're causing them to wrap around stuff, your plants. 
But if they add rocks, it's like that that completely foils the plan. So I think this will be a really key spot here to see it'll inform me. See that? So now the rock's there. And it's like, well, um, that kind of sucks because it makes this so pinchy. It's, it's, I guess, okay, well, it's good in a way that I can very easily block, right? So I just put something here, here, boom. I think, but like, I can't have them go in here at all. Like, I think I just need to have them wreck them in here. Try to bring everyone through here, mess them up, and then have them probably go probably easier to draw it something like do, 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 do. like ideal world probably something like that because <laughs> I get this so many there's so many swivel points one, two, three, like you had curves, it's huge. One, two, three, like these are gonna be, I'll put it in red, my little f fire flower drop points. Right, and then all I would need to do for blocking, I mean, these, those two inherently block, so they kind of double up on that duty. And then you can block. That's a, probably a terrible color I used. Right, so blue's like my, blue is block. Boom. And this is where it gets a little dicey. I could do that. But like, what's really cool is like largely it's all set, and I have to do this one too, or here. So that's the goal, but it's obviously a lot of the black ones have to go in my favor. Short term, I have to deal with this, so I think putting a guy here it like makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's that's my dream. Oh, that wasn't even a spot. I had I was just hovering over it. Crap. <sighs> I might have to like just eat some damage this round just to like. start building the dream because it's a I think a matter of taking some short-term hits to make this work so otherwise I'm just looking at like then it's like yeah I guess I could do that I mean that might help me for this round frankly black bugs are gonna get pretty torched so I mean I don't think I need a lot to actually win this wave but I don't want to block that. I'm going to probably try this one because it might free up this tile. And then I, I'm just playing up and down. Ugh. I mean, that kind of helps me for later in a very significant way. But this round is a little tough. I may even have him go wrap around this way and just block here with Honey Bear or something. But this is a really nice spot that they gave me. And this. But the other one was kind of cool too. So they didn't, they didn't give me this. <laughs> I'm just gonna like cleanse away. I mean, I kind of am tempted to honestly and just kind of eat it this round. I don't think they're gonna like, destroy me. And like, if I can really block this off, very cool. Right? I think I add a. I don't know what just did there, but oh wow, did I add a rock here? Something shifted. That was really wacky. But I mean, yeah, I just like spent like an exuberant amount, but exuberant, exuberant, exorbitant, exuberant, exuberant, I guess that could be true too, but I just spent a lot on blight cleansing, but I think it's going to work out because now I can legitimately block this entire side and I can start building out here. So I think I'm in good shape. I'm going to definitely um, struggle here, but hey, that's all right. You gotta, you gotta eat it some rounds. And I don't think it'd be too bad. Well, those guys are gonna heal, which sucks. And then the blight bugs are gonna come out. So it could be, it could be brutal, but we'll see. 
Look at that. Those auto landed. Oh, they're so bad. Oh, the honey shell just ate so much for me. But I'm gonna eat it. I'm willing to take that's that's a huge success in my opinion. For what we are now set up for, it's huge. That is I mean look at this. That's incredible. So incredible. Like it's it's setting me up for exactly what I wanted to do. Like half of the thing is already built out. I gotta be a little careful here. Yeah, okay, that was anticipating. That being such a gaping hole. Yeah, that's not that great either. Yeah, I didn't anticipate this. And they didn't, yeah. Darn you. All right, let's see what this does. No, they, they, yeah, they insist on going that way. Okay, well, I can do this, I think. And they'll get a little bit of hits here, which isn't bad. I might do that for this one. I don't know about that. I could also go probably here. Yeah, that's that's actually one of the best I can ask for. Longer term, I don't. I, I think I want them to go. I want to clear up some stuff here, but I think for this round specifically, where I need to deal with some serious damage, this is important. Um, I do want to get Fire Flower involved so that there's some burn damage going on. Now, the question is, do I want to go here and, wa and allow for better watering? Or do I want to get some damage at the tail end? So I just don't know if they're, like, stacking up a lot. Like if I put two fire flyers together, are they are the stacks all stacking on top? I think so, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna say no, just to be safe. Split them up. I still have two energy. I can see if I have a good blight cleansing. Like this one's really enticing. I won't be able to plant anything. The other option is I just put some more basic seeds around, but oh wow. That's actually pretty interesting too, but I don't think it's worth it for this round. I could do that. Oh, you know, I guess the other Firefly are involved again. That's actually pretty cool. It does take him out of the picture for half, you know, he only has one tile of exposure now, but uh, But a basic seed at the end, too, is going to be nice. You know, I'm going to go for it. I think that's cool. That's a little something that I think will just help. It won't hurt. It could make the difference between some guy coming through and not. Even though it's one damage, but still. Actually, I'm really glad I put fire flowers down. Because, man, that's clutch. Because they rip through the armor. And then the, the lava tile just cleans them up. Wow, that's incredible. And then and the honey bear is going to just clean up. Wow, that went way better than I anticipated. I underestimate the fire on the armored creatures. Incredible. Yeah, they have 10 armor, it's insane. Ooh, that's an interesting spot. I dare say. Oh, that's so nice. I have to think about it, but that definitely cleared up some some good spots here. Cause like that, that's a clutch spot I was, I was talking about. It didn't do this way, which I would have wanted. Now I'm gonna have to move this guy to get more closer to my original plan. Yeah, I'd love to have that freed up. For now, I could do Honey Bear probably this round. I do want to get start getting some waterings going. 
So I think what I'll do this round is that. That. I gotta watch out for that. I didn't see that. Ugh. Oh, wait, why did I just... Oh, okay, no, I had to go down here. Yep. I, I'd love Honey Bear to be there, but I don't think I can swing that this round. Well, what is nice, I can, I can water. I think that will be very important towards the end here. Because I'm on wave three and there's seven. I'll do that. I think the slowdown is going to be really clutch. So I'm going to go for that instead of the plus one on him. Yeah, I'd love to have Honey Bear more involved. He's only on one tile, which really bites. But at least he's involved. And this magma crawlers, which are going to be pretty impervious all the way through to like here. So Honey Bear really has to step up his game. But at least the ice crawlers are like... They actually look slower. So... Oh, wow. I don't think there'll be too much overlapping. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. They're coming through hard. I'm probably just gonna... Yes! The basic seeds at the end. So clutch. Oh, and the slowdown. Yeah, they both hit on that one. That was... That worked out really well. Wow. That was interesting. I want something here, guys. What I can do is kind of just see, okay, well, they're not giving me anything here, so I can... Like, that's probably completely useless. This could free up some things, so it'll definitely free this up, so I can... But I do like them going this way, so I don't want to do anything too cataclysmic there, but here would be pretty good. Right. Because I can... I can do this. That's not bad at all. And then... That's an interesting one. I don't think this is going to be useful at all because I'm not, I want them to go on this path. It might free this up, but whatever. I'm, I'm really looking for, I want this top freed up. So I'm going to wait. I'm just going to kind of buffer the path. Here, just like, just augment with more seeds. I think it's the smartest thing I can do here. Get another fire flower involved. Um, what do we have here? So upper left is auto menders. Um, definitely gonna put a firefly here to start softening up some of those big guys. I'll do one radiance on him too. That would be nice. Auto menders are gonna be problematic, I think. Are they gonna want to go this way if I move? Yeah. See, that's another spot I'm looking out for is a, a blight cleansing down here, which they haven't given me that either just the way the cards fall. So I'm gonna wait it out. I think I'm just gonna do another guy. I think it'd be really cool to have them weave around. We'll see what the blight cleansings land. I don't wanna put too much stuff. Well, let me see. You know what, I could do that. I could put this one, that's fine. Other than that though, it's, it's really all patched up. All right, I'd say let's do it. It's a lot of dudes. Yeah, the fire is so crazy good. Like, there's a ton. These guys are like, yeah, look at me. But then they're gonna get torched. Those go those those auto repair type of beings are, are pretty resilient. These guys are actually holding that down the fort pretty strong. I'm impressed. Wow, they really got through a lot of that fire. I thought. Oh, that wasn't a good timed one. What's happening? Okay, one of them came through. But wow. Ah! Oh, I blocked one. That was a little brutal. Oh, I got hit at the end. I didn't look if I had Honey Shield ready, but. I was so fixated on what was happening. Um, all right, we definitely need some pathing changes, like imprudence here. Come on, guys. What I can do is, what I would like is, I think that's a nice little move. That'll really, oh, that's really a, a small thing, but huge. I 
What would be really cool is have these guys go all the, the long way. Oh, lower right is... Okay, well, yeah, Magma Crawler is lower left. Eh. What would be a bad move is actually blocking this. Putting a guy here and then having them all go around. At least this round. I think that'd be pretty darn cool. Like, what I'm talking about is this. Oh, I gotta block that up, too. I, I definitely need a Blight Cleansing. Crap. Let me try this. I do have a... Bro, what was that? No. They can still go that way, but man, that is weird. Yeah, that's strange. They're not giving me anything. But I think I'm gonna let them go through this way and then, but I need to block one of these two paths. Now what I could probably do is this and then block that and that. That could work. Yep. I kind of want them to... S that is a weird setup, but... Yeah, Honey Bear's barely involved, which really stinks. But yeah, that, that really screwed me up. That rock. And I could move it, this guy. But is that really worth it? Like... I don't mind this. I just don't like the honey bears not involved. He's kind of being used to block, which I don't like. It's never ideal. Honey bear needs to be in the fray, especially when you got these big armadons coming through. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm not crazy about it. It's the fact that these basic seeds aren't really doing anything, but I can't like not move them. I could, I guess, I could maybe have them go this way. Ooh, interesting thought. So here's something I'm thinking of. What if I block this and then they kind of go... Yeah, that's not worth it either. It's so hard to like get these guys to be used. <laughs> Just the way the rocks are. Still not crazy about that. I'd love for them to go like, wrap around, but the stupid thing's in the way. It sucks. I think for this wave, it's probably the best I can ask for if I get. I only have one cleansing left, which really bites. And that's, that's just terrible, right? So I have to stay here. Uh, I'll do a watering. I think that's important here. This guy's not involved, and I don't like that. Especially when I upgraded him. So we'll do that. Radiance. Slowdown won't matter so much. I'd probably do two fewer. That's kind of an uh, next, but that's kind of like get, making him a level three. Just like his buddies, but they'll be level four next. And then I'll just do a basic seed to help supplement a little bit. Honey bear. I can at least get swipes in, so that's not terrible, but still. I just want him more involved. But these rocks are, are jeopardizing things. Yeah, that rock was rough. Really full of my plans. Yeah, look at that. They're coming right through. That's terrifying. But at least I made them go the long way. The magma crawls really came out pretty unscathed until the end because of their resistances to the 20 damage of lava tiles. Where all the other guys are going through. Look at the ringer. Like it's such a long trip. Slow, painful death for them. They didn't show the, the fire icon. But I'm pretty sure they were burned. Come on, Cleansing, give me some juice here. What is this? They're refusing. You know what? I'm gonna do this, Sucker. Thank you, Sefa. Because I think that's gonna help. But before I do that, it's like. 
They're not giving me anything down here. Cause I wanna. Well, actually, for this round, I can. I can come. Whoa. No. Now this might actually clear down here, so it's worth the chance. Oh, baby. Because it, it can. It's just what. Like it's just like an area effect. It doesn't care about rocks. Now the downside is if I do this, th these guys are gonna be blocked for this round. I think it's worth it. But I do want to see what I have for cleansings now. There's still nothing down there. That is insane. I don't know what is up with that. This one's a little terrifying. Like, I'm going to do that this round. And then I got the radiance. I'll do that. And I have my other fire flower. Can do a water. Well, those guys are already watered. I wouldn't mind moving this guy down and getting him watered. That would be kind of cool. Just to get that party started. It's kind of cool to see. All of them. Like, this is like a fire patch. It's really neat with honey bear in the middle. So it's pretty cool until this thing happens. <laughs> So we'll see what, how I if they give me blood cleansings, I can I can revisit that. But this is a uh, second to last wave here. So what do we have to worry about in the middle right? We're gonna have ice crawlers and armor swords. I'm not actually not too worried about that. I think they're gonna get pretty mauled pretty quickly. And then upper left, like bugs and brutes, not bad at all. Lower left, those got that's probably the most terrifying one, but they're gonna be at the very end. So I feel pretty good about this, but it could get pretty dicey. I think the ice callers won't be a problem. They'll probably Ooh, he's an armor. Armor swords in there. Here. Armor diamonds. I always mix them up. I think armor swords. It looks like a dinosaur. Yes, like a triceratops horn. Or are those pincers, I don't know. Or maybe more like a crustacean. Yeah, it's, they're pretty much extinguished by the time the second wave comes, but now it's getting a little spicy. Especially with those magma crawlers, like they're they're very resistant to as you can see. They just that guy practically waltzed right on through. Incredible. I think I need another slowdown on this guy. Because he gets he gets pretty pre preoccupied, so he can't. So if I have another slowdown, I think that would be huge because they, they come racing out of the gate here. Yeah, heal from that, sucka. Alright, so. I think I want, definitely want to get slowed down on this. And this is a little terrifying. So what, what is lower right, though? <clears throat> Shield enemies. Well, it's like, all right, might as well just get them over with. Now, they're both right here, which is not ideal. I might have to block. But how would I do that? Let me think for a second. I have to move this seed out. Um, I think that's going to be worth it. What, now, what do I have for blight cleansings? They still haven't given me anything here. It's so bizarre. I think that systematically it's just not refusing for some reason. Which is really annoying. Uh, I do want to move this, though. I think that's going to be very clutch. Get that opened up so I can go here. Here. here I guess I'll s I might have to do two blight cleansings but then it's like even if that happens all I'm gonna have left is one seed one energy which is like yeah maybe I get a blight cleansing there and then maybe I can put a seed down the goal being to put honey bear here this isn't bad either though but, I, yeah, I might have to block that up again. I don't know how I feel about... I do like that slight move where they're... That's a lot of stuff in the air. But, I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm going to have... What is lower left again? Okay, so nothing that heals. So, I might just, like... I know that's kind of a waste of a couple energy there, but... 
I think this is about as good as I'll get. I might incur some hits because the, these guys don't have a hard time. But I think I'm going to have a, some good benefit from like softening this up a bit by doing this. I think that's clutch. Aside from that, it's like... You know? This, the basic seed damage adds up, for sure. So we're going to see these guys get quite softened up, plus that. That'll hopefully make things a bit more palatable. These guys are racing down, but I think the lava tile there is clutch. So far, so good. It's getting a little... It's heating up here. Heating up. Blast would be awesome. <laughs> right about now. Oh, that density. Oh, I'll let him, I'll let him hit. Oh, he died. All the basic seeds at the end is kind of like... I'll, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. I'm worried about these big guys. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, what? I think that was a timing thing. But we made it. Oh. I like the Dreadwood Forest better. <laughs> I like the Fire Flowers, but man, it's... it's they're really cool, but man, it's it's kind of demoralizing to see them just like see the magma crawlers rip right through them. Dreadwood forest was like dreadwoods are like I don't care what you are, I'm gonna whack you really hard, and like that's that's uh, it's very satisfying. But when there's a, a elemental resistance, it's like uh crap. But it was cool to like see the difference there with the ice crawlers versus the magma crawlers and how substantially different it is um against a um fire flower but you know i think that went overall pretty good i think it was kind of similar to dreadwood forest where i learned a lot from the first run applied what i learned adapted a bit got some curveballs thrown at me still even on that last level but I think a, a massively different strategy I took this time was just more emphasis on basic seeds and less emphasis on leveling up magma uh, fire flowers. I think that made a big difference. Um, but that was good. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, jump into another one probably pretty soon. I'm going to most likely look at the aquaferns, just kind of doing all aquaferns and getting a feel for um, how they behave. <laughs>